And we're back with another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video and we're going to take a look at the top 10 used heroes in the squad arena for the month of April. And this is gonna be a no order whatsoever. All of them are really good. Some are better than others and some might be much useful later on in the game. And I just wanna say I'm in a good mood. I've got my Darth Sipius sippy cup, the only way to drink. Mm. My nine-year-old daughter got that. I think it's hysterical. Don't you think that's hysterical right there? Darth Vader sippy cup. Awesome. Also, the Thrawn book came out today. Sponsored link in the description from Amazon. Helps support this channel. If you want to get the book, just click on the link in the description. It also helps this channel out. And why don't we just get started with the two elephants in the room. We've kind of got them on the screen right here. Darth Maul and Rex. Let's first talk about, like I said, we're gonna talk about 10 heroes in this video and no apparent order, but I gotta say that the arena right now is pretty much dominated by Maul. Maul is awesome. He is who I am going to gear after Kenobi, who is also on this list. He recently died in an episode of Rebels, so there's a lot of interest around him. He speeds up Sith, they get Dodge, and they get all kinds of evasion and silliness but the main thing is that, that on turn one because they already have by default the stealth mechanic they get 20 percent turn meter which fuels palpatine and nihilus who are also on this list and so i just gotta say maul 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 i know a lot of people are starting to hate maul and he might be overplayed but he is the current meta right now and i highly recommend getting him like I said, he's going to be who I gear after Kenobi. I just want to talk about gear. I have been playing the game since about it came out, and I have 17 gear 11 heroes. It takes about a month to get a hero to gear 11, so you got to choose wisely. Right now, I'm focusing on Kenobi, then I probably go for Maul, and then I might go for Nihilus or Kylo Ren. That's how it works. Now, Maul is also good at lower star levels, like five, six, seven stars, and he's pretty easy to get in the guild store. So that's who I'm working on now. Now Rex is pretty much the only anti mall team out there. There's pretty much two leaderships that are working well in the arena right now, and that is Maul and Rex. Now on the, to a lesser extent, you've got Darth Vader and Wedge lead. But really, the main two right now are Maul and Rex. Now, you can also get Rex inside of the guild store. And boy, he is a cleanser. He gives tenacity up so that the negative status effects can't apply to him. He seems to be like one of those heroes that you can put on a team. And then you can put all kinds of random people underneath him. I see a lot of people with Chirrut and Chase and Kenobi and then Nihilus or Boba Fett. There's tons of ways of building a team around him. Not a lot of synergies, not like with Maul. Maul has synergies with the rest of the guys. So there are the first two, Maul and Rex. Let's go over to my characters and I will just talk about the three that I'm also on this list that I recommend that I have maxed out. Darth Vader, he's not the best leader in the arena right now, but he's still very good. I still recommend Darth Vader, he makes the list. He's very good for soloing the Rancor. He has ability block. He has damage over time. They don't disappear. He can win battles. His Culling Blaine can do crazy amounts of damage. He can one-shot heroes often at the very end. He's very slow, but he's still very good. Then we're also going to talk about Palpatine. Palpatine's on the list. Palpatine works almost in anything. He's my favorite hero in the game. He's also readily available. A lot of people have Palpatine already to seven stars through the event. The events happen ever so often and you can get him. I highly recommend getting Palpatine. If you have Palpatine at seven stars, go ahead and take him to gear 10. He's amazing. He can stun, he can shock, he can heal himself. He can give offense up to his team. He works well with Darth Vader. He works well with Maul. He is awesome. All right, let's go down to General Kenobi now. General Kenobi is available if you have a guild that is currently finishing the AAT tank raid. If you're looking for a guild, there's an email address in the description so that you can 
join the guild that I'm in. We have several. I've got him at gear 10. I'm waiting to get him to gear 11. This guy is a total hassle to gear. It's crazy the amount of gear. Uh, yeah, he can get the shards pretty easily from your guild, but the gear on this guy is just makes my head explodes. It's insane. I can play him in the arena at six stars at gear 10, and I don't think it's going to be very long before I get him to gear 11 or level 7. He's just amazing. He's one of the best heroes in the game. Pretty much works on any team, and I think he's going to be good for a long, long, long time. All right, let's go down the list, and we'll talk about some other heroes. Boba Fett. Boba Fett is also amazing. Ability block. He can bypass taunt. He can revive. He is crazy. He can dispel or just do this massive hit. I've. He can one-shot people. He can be used almost in any team. I highly recommend Boba Fett, and I think if the Maul Rex thing goes away, he's still going to be very, very, very good. Very, very, very playable. Highly recommend. I love this guy so much. All right. Now let's talk about some heroes that I don't have and that I'm working on. And the main one and probably the most used hero right now in the arena is Darth Nihilus. Now he has something where he can reduce the enemy's cooldowns. Ugh, that's better than ability block because if you've already used your ability, it just takes longer for it to come back and it can't be cleansed. Oh my God, Nihilus is so good. He's playable at four stars. He's not farmable really right now. You can buy shards in the shipment store for crystals, yuck. I really, really wish I had this guy at seven stars, gear 11. He's probably the best hero in the game right now as far as being used the most. He is just ridiculously good. He works very, very well on mall teams, but he can work on any team. He is very, very good. All right, the next two we're gonna talk about is Baze and Sharut. Now, Baze was recently added to the 9-C light side. It's gonna take like a year for me to get enough shards this way. This is like nearly impossible to get like one shard a day. I mean, it's gonna take months and months. And I'm gonna do that anyways, but this guy is a, a taunter. He can counter attack and he can also dispel the other team. And he pairs really well with Sharut, which is a cleanser and also can do lots of damage. Really good, I wish I had those two. The two of them can go on any team. I mean, you can build a Maul team with these two. You can build a Rex team with these two. Very, very good. Hard to get. Not really easy to farm. I'm not going to worry about them for right now because I don't have easy access to them. The people that do have them love them. They're really good. All right, let's go down the list, and we're going to talk about the last one, which is Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren is amazing. He is very easy to farm. You can get him in the cantina. You probably can get, I don't know, five to ten shards of him a day. Relatively easy. Uh, he is a widow maker. He's a home wrecker. Oh my goodness, he can go on any team. Now, the thing I will say about Kylo Ren, let's pull him up. The thing that interests me the most about Kylo Ren is that really he doesn't have any synergy with any other heroes currently. He is first order, and so what that makes me think is that when the new movie comes out in Christmas time, they're going to come out with tons of new first order heroes, and who knows? I think Kylo Ren is going to be a great investment for the future because if there's some sort of synergies that come out with first order, I know some people really like the first order teams. They're not really showing up in the arena that much, but Kylo Ren on his own is amazing, plus... He's amazing in the first phase of the AAT tank raid. So I'm probably going to finish up Kenobi, then worry about Maul. And then because Kylo Ren is pretty easy to farm, he'll probably be my third choice to take to gear 11. So let's just go over the list again. Darth Nihilus, Emperor Palpatine, Darth Maul, General Kenobi, Baze and Sharut, Boba Fett, Rex, Darth Vader and Kylo Ren. There are other heroes that didn't make the list, but that is the top 10 for the month of April. Also, 
I did mention in my last video that YouTube is having an ad apocalypse and all YouTubers are losing tons of money and you know it's every YouTubers dream to do this full time I'm barely covering my health insurance with the revenue I'm getting for YouTube so I'm gonna take sponsorship deals and things like that the first thing I was gonna do is this Amazon right here for the Thrawn book if you want to buy the book there is a link in the description where anything you order off of Amazon from that link will help support me in this channel thank you guys very very much and then also right above me is all of my patreon supporters there's also a link in the description to my patreon i just wanted to give all of them a big shout out those guys are awesome and i just want to say mostly i really appreciate all you guys liking and watching the video so keep on gaming